New tonight at 11, an update on an American father of three taken hostage by Hamas terrorists during the October 7th attack in Israel. While visiting the Sarasota, Florida Jewish Federation headquarters, his father spoke with News for Jack's reporter Eric Abanye via Zoom. A handful of the older women and a couple of the teenagers had seen Sagi and other people from our kibbutz um, just before their release in the Hamas terror tunnels under Gaza. And they were able to tell us at that time that he was alive and wounded. And days after Sagi Dekelhan disappeared, a stepmother spoke with Eric about her. Her stepson saved many lives during the attack before he was kidnapped. Today, Eric spoke one-on-one -on -one with Dekelhan's dad, who is very outspoken about the efforts to free his son and the rest of the hostages. It's been eight months oh, since God. Hamas terrorists kidnapped 35-year-old Sagi Dekelhan. The American father of three is believed to have engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the terrorist and then kidnapped from his home in the Niraz Kibbutz while his wife and children stayed hidden in a safe room. His father, Jonathan DeKelhan, says 40 of the 79 people kidnapped from his kibbutz were released in the first hostage deal in late November. Some of those released hostages spoke with him. Some of the people that were also kidnapped by Hamas, um, they were in tunnels and they saw your son, you say? That's correct. They saw my son and, and many other people from our kibbutz who were taken hostage. And so they were able to tell us that as of late November, early December, he and, and others were alive. In Sagi's case, he was wounded. Last week, four hostages were rescued during an Israeli military operation, an operation that, according to Hamas, killed more than 200 Palestinians. Jonathan DeKelhan describes the rescue as a complicated issue. I, of course, overjoyed as the whole country was overjoyed at the release of these four young people. And we, we can only hope that the rest of the 121 families of the hostages will have similar moments. As far as the loss of Palestinian life is concerned, look, all of this could end in an hour if Hamas were to release the remaining 121 hostages. This all began on October 7th because Hamas invaded, completely unprovoked, invaded Israel, murdered 1,200 people, almost all of them civilians, uh, conducted mass rape, mass looting, and mass hostage taking. Sagi's father spoke with President Biden via Zoom and in person. He praises both Congress and the Biden administration's support, but says there is one thing we should never lose sight of. We must not allow um, the issue of the hostages or the war in general to become politicized in what is a highly, highly tense elec uh, election year. Uh, this has to remain from all sides uh, above politics, a, a humanitarian issue and one of justice and, and not one of politics. Now, Jonathan Dekelhan says he later learned that three people who were taken from his kibbutz as hostages actually died in the tunnels under Gaza. He says two of those people were his close friends. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.